Happiness is something that we all seek, but what does it really mean to be happy? How can we define happiness for ourselves and not let others dictate our choices? In this section, I will share some tips and insights on how to find your own happiness beyond your dream job. One of the first steps to finding happiness is to live according to your values. Your values are the things that matter most to you, the things that give you a sense of purpose and direction in life. When you align your actions with your values, you feel more authentic and fulfilled. To discover your values, ask yourself what you would do with your life if you had everyone's approval and admiration. What would make you proud and satisfied? What would make you feel alive and joyful? These are some clues to your values. Another step to finding happiness is to practice mindfulness. Mindfulness is the ability to focus on the present moment and observe your thoughts and feelings without judging them. Mindfulness helps you to appreciate the good things in your life, to cope with the challenges, and to release the negativity. Mindfulness also helps you to be more aware of your needs and emotions, and to communicate them effectively. You can practice mindfulness by doing simple activities like breathing, meditating, walking, or journaling. A third step to finding happiness is to cultivate gratitude. Gratitude is the feeling of appreciation for what you have and what you experience. Gratitude helps you to recognize the positive aspects of your life, to feel more satisfied and content, and to attract more abundance and joy. Gratitude also helps you to be more generous and compassionate towards others, which enhances your relationships and happiness. You can practice gratitude by writing down three things that you are grateful for every day, by expressing your thanks to someone who helped you, or by doing something kind for someone else. A fourth step to finding happiness is to create meaning in your life. Meaning is the sense that your life has a significance and a direction beyond yourself. Meaning helps you to feel motivated and inspired, to overcome difficulties, and to contribute positively to the world. Meaning can come from different sources, such as your work, your hobbies, your relationships, your spirituality, or your passions. You can create meaning in your life by pursuing your goals, by learning new skills, by joining a community, or by helping a cause. These are some of the ways that you can define happiness for yourself and not let others dictate your choices. Happiness is not something that you achieve once and for all. It is something that you create and maintain every day. Happiness is not dependent on your dream job, it is dependent on your attitude and actions. Happiness is not a destination, it is a journey. How to balance your passion and your profession without compromising your values Many people dream of finding a job that they are passionate about, a job that gives them meaning and fulfillment. But how do you balance your passion and your profession without compromising your values? How do you avoid burnout, frustration, or disappointment when pursuing your passion through work? Here are some tips to help you achieve this balance. Identify where your passions lie. Before you can pursue your passion through work, you need to know what your passion is. What are the things that excite you, that make you happy, that challenge you, that inspire you? What are the causes that you care about, the problems that you want to solve, the impact that you want to make? You can explore your passions by trying new things, taking classes, joining clubs, reading books, or talking to people who share your interests. Sharpen your passions. Once you have identified your passions, you need to work on developing them. You need to acquire the skills, knowledge, and experience that will help you excel in your chosen field. You need to practice, learn, improve, and grow. You need to seek feedback, mentorship, and guidance from others who have succeeded in pursuing their passions. You also need to be realistic about your strengths and weaknesses, and be willing to adapt and change as you encounter new challenges and opportunities. Merge your passion into your profession. The next step is to find a way to integrate your passion into your work. This can mean finding a job that directly aligns with your passion, or finding a job that allows you to express your passion in some way. For example, if you are passionate about nature and the outdoors, you can look for a job as a park ranger, a wildlife photographer, an environmental educator, or a conservationist. 
Or if you are passionate about cooking, you can look for a job as a chef, a food blogger, a nutritionist, or a restaurant owner. Alternatively, you can look for a job that gives you the flexibility, autonomy, and resources to pursue your passion outside of work. For example, if you are passionate about music, you can look for a job that allows you to work remotely, set your own schedule, and earn enough money to buy instruments, record songs, or perform at gigs. Align your passion with your values. Pursuing your passion through work can be rewarding, but it can also come with trade-offs. You may have to sacrifice some aspects of your personal life, such as your family time, your social life, or your hobbies. You may have to compromise some of your principles, such as your ethics, your morals, or your beliefs. You may have to deal with stress, pressure, competition, or criticism. That's why it's important to align your passion with your values. You need to ask yourself, what are the things that matter most to me? What are the things that I'm willing to give up or negotiate? What are the things that I'm not willing to compromise? How can I pursue my passion in a way that respects my values and honors my integrity? Take care of yourself. Finally, pursuing your passion through work requires taking care of yourself. You need to balance your work and personal life, and prioritize your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. You need to set boundaries between your passion and your profession, and know when to take a break or say no. You need to celebrate your achievements and appreciate your progress. You need to seek support and encouragement from others who share or respect your passion. And you need to remember why you started pursuing your passion in the first place, because it makes you happy. One of the most important habits that can help you find happiness beyond your dream job is to cultivate gratitude and mindfulness in your daily life. Gratitude is the feeling of appreciation for what you have, and mindfulness is the awareness of the present moment without judgment. Both of these practices can boost your happiness, reduce your stress, and improve your well-being. How can you cultivate gratitude and mindfulness in your daily life? Here are some simple tips that you can try, start your day with a gratitude journal. Write down three things that you are grateful for every morning. They can be big or small, personal or general as long as they make you feel thankful. This will help you focus on the positive aspects of your life and start your day with a good mood. Practice mindful breathing throughout the day. Whenever you feel stressed, anxious, or overwhelmed, take a few minutes to breathe deeply and slowly. Pay attention to the sensation of your breath as it enters and leaves your body. This will help you calm your mind, relax your body, and bring your attention back to the present moment. Express your gratitude to others. Don't take the people in your life for granted. Show them that you appreciate them by saying thank you, giving compliments, or doing something nice for them. This will strengthen your relationships, make others feel good, and increase your own happiness. Find joy in the simple things. Happiness is not only found in big achievements or expensive possessions. It is also found in the small pleasures that you experience every day. For example, you can enjoy the taste of your favorite food, the beauty of nature, the sound of music, or the touch of a loved one. These moments can fill your life with joy if you pay attention to them and savor them. End your day with a gratitude reflection. Before you go to bed, think back on your day and identify three things that made you happy or that you learned from. They can be events, people, feelings, or insights that enriched your day. This will help you end your day with a positive note and sleep better. By cultivating gratitude and mindfulness in your daily life, you can appreciate what you have and live more fully in the present moment. This will help you find happiness beyond your dream job and enjoy every aspect of your life.